welcome back. All kinds of crazy things happening, but uh, <laughs> in the fear, fright, and hysteria that's going on out there, we got to look after our health at all times. One of the leading experts in the world in biomedical in innovation, a.k.a. the Ph.D. of the pros, Dr. John Jackwish joins us today. John, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. me. Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, this is great. So you're here, you got all kinds of weapons. It looks like exercise gear, which yeah. scares me already, but uh, it's it a is, bit scary. It is exercise gear. <laughs> well, it's probably the most approachable exercise gear that anybody's ever seen, but it also works better than regular weight training because the problem with regular weight training and the reason why so many people don't engage in it and fail at it is that we overload joints and underload muscle. Any strong people you guys know probably complain about joint pain. The stronger you get, the more you load the joint. Whereas I developed a system which was based on a medical device I created. Uh, so this is like a 600 plus pound, uh, like in a deadlift format, band that hooks to this bar and uh, then has a plate on the ground so that you can do like a deadlift. You can throw that around your back and do a chest press. But it's the world's strongest variable resistance. Like to, uh, not like, like that. No, that's, you no, thing? you'll tear your coat doing that, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, like right now, you'll tear oh, your coat. Right. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, it's good to know. Uh, Do you want to show me as an example? Uh, you know what? None of us are dressed <laughs> for it, but... What, what you do is you double that thing over and okay. throw it through the hooks, and then as you push away, so when I do a chest press, I'm holding 540 pounds here, 300 pounds here, and 100 pounds here, Okay. which delivers the strongest amount of variable resistance to trigger more muscular growth. Hmm. So this this will really replace weightlifting as the ultimate here. Try to emphasize. Yeah, as the ultimate way <laughs> to trigger the human body for adaptation. Yeah, it's not light. No, this is just no. a heavy ball. Yeah, it's aluminum on the outside. It's solid steel. Are uh, you ready? Not, no. No. Nope. Again? No, nope. that's no. Nope. Nope. Okay. No, no. No, 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 that's nope, not, nope. Doc, that. okay. I want to ask you this. I, I love the weight training. Okay. I'm even Sorry. willing to submit, if you wish, to trying some with you at some point. Yeah. See if it has any effect on me. It I'm will. It'll have a stronger effect shape, in anything. So anyway. anything could happen. But you had some interesting insights in our last couple minutes here on the coronavirus. Yeah. What's really happening there? What's, ha what's causing this? Well, so of what we know about the coronavirus right now, yep. it is fecal transference. So, oh. meaning we need to have poor sanitation right. uh, to, to be able to transfer it to other people. Now, that doesn't mean we know everything about it, but that also means that countries with poor sanitation, the chances of spreading it are greater. Countries with great sanitation, like this one, for example, and Italy, I, yeah, I'm no, sure Italy this. will get a handle on this very easily. Now, we have other diseases that transfer like that, hepatitis mm -hmm. and and uh, E. coli, you know, they, they sure. transfer like that. So, yes, those things do happen, but they're not epidemics. Got it. Yeah. And these things, um, my feeling is that these things tend to fizzle out after yes. three or four months and they get under control. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I really appreciate you coming down. What we got to do is we got to set up a day where we can get you in for more time. Yeah, and sure. And you got to take me through all the paces. Sure of what kind of exercises I can do. Is sure, really is. anything, but this is going to revolutionize the weightlifting industry, and I think weights are actually gonna go away because what I can demonstrate, and I did this with a medical device I developed 10 years ago mm -hmm. uh, to treat osteoporosis. It's the strongest effector of bone density that's ever been created. Mm. And so it's the science from that went into this, and it really shows that weightlifting is incredibly inefficient because we need variable resistance to match our variable capability. You, you are much weaker here than you are here. And if you right. watch little kids do push-ups, you know, they, they cheat and they do this yeah. for a reason. It's because they're powerful here, they're closer, weak here, right, right, right. So why don't we leverage the body's biomechanical capability and get a better effect. Got and, it. And this is both for male and female? Yeah, so, both because for male I look, and female. Because I mean, that looks like a great process. You're going to look just like me with I'm, hair. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. The hair part. Yeah, yeah, like, I made that up. Do you know, you I, actually, not look like I, I, was a, I was a gymnast Ooh. growing up. heard from our sponsors and friends over at InvestView. We're going to come back with the uh, U.S. trade advisor, uh, Tom <laughs> Keogh from Kingsbridge Strategies. Quick break. Back at you right after this. John, thank you.